problem was that uh, we had a air conditioning system for the Pratt Library that was installed in 1984 and it needed to be replaced. In uh, 2008, I had the opportunity of attending the first Plan YC kickoff meeting. At that meeting, I learned about retro commissioning. I learned about the importance of retro commissioning and how this was going to be a strategy going forward to reduce energy consumption and lower carbon in New York City. After the planning, after we went through the whole process, we replaced the chiller and we replaced the condensing unit, but we did not replace the air handler unit because that was not within the requirements for payback. So I had an opportunity many years later to get this replaced and I applied for the ACE program and it did not meet the requirements of the ACE program. So Department of Energy Management said, why don't we reduce the scope of this work and instead of replacing the air handler, why don't we rebuild the air handler so that we can just remove the component parts and replace those with energy efficient parts. Some of the problems we faced were the unit did not have digital controls. Another problem we had, the louvers were not adjustable so that we can use free cooling. Another problem was that we did not have variable frequency drive motors. Another problem that we had was that the building wasn't balanced properly. We just kept looking and finding all of these things. The deeper we looked, the more we found. We also found that the uh, coil inside of the unit was uh, old and it needed to be replaced. And we also found out that if we change from uh, steam in the coil, if we have a steam to hot water converter and circulate hot water through the coil, that that's going to increase efficiency and reduce gas demand. So every time we did something, we kept finding opportunities to uh, make improvements on this air handler unit. So the way we received the funding was that we uh, first submitted the entire project where we were going to replace the entire unit through ACE because that's more of a capital re uh, request. And uh, when we saw that we weren't going to get the payback that was required, then we resubmitted the plan by reducing the scope. So instead of doing a direct replacement, we were going to do uh, uh, replacement for uh, integral parts, uh, component parts, through Excel. And when, by doing that, we were able to get it within the payback period and the project was accepted in this Excel program. The ex expected results based on the engineering calculation is our existing equipment, we were looking at 217,000 kilowatt hours for the equipment per year. And the newest, uh, we're looking at 82,600 kilowatts per year. So that's significant savings in kilowatts. And in terms for the transfer from the steam in the coil to steam to hot water converter, and then we're circulating hot water through, we're looking at 16,000 therms to 9,000 therms. So that it's significant reduction in both electricity and natural gas. The other thing that's important is efficiency. Because we balance the system, because uh, the coils are working at 100%, because we have outside air dampers that are controlled by digital controls on our BMS system and a computer can watch what's going on. And probably one of the greatest efficiencies is timing. Because we could set timing so we know when the building is occupied and when it's not occupied. And we can dial down occupancy uh, so the equipment runs just basic temperature so we don't have occupancy requirements at that time. And that's all in the computer. So we can advance, uh, we can put that into the BMS system. So we have advanced opportunities with occupancy. I'd like to thank Calvin Black, who's the Associate Vice President for Operations. He assisted with all construction, construction aspects of things. Uh, I would like to thank Amir Kayoshi, who is the Director of Engineering, and I'd like to t thank Parmanan Mohabir, who is the Assistant Director of Engineering. The main takeaway I have from this project is uh, tenacity. I like the word tenacity because we started the project in 2008 and we finished it in 2015. And a lot of people would get disappointed because they apply for funding and they don't get accepted and then they shelve the project. Well, right now we have all these, we have these options, we have opportunities, we have ACE, which is a wonderful program because it's for capital. And my project didn't make the ACE uh, requirements, so by working with the Department of Energy Management, by working with my engineers uh, in-house and the professional engineers that we hired, uh, we found a way to, instead of replacing and turning this into a large construction project, 
We found a way to replace component parts that are essential in air handling. And by doing that, we were able to meet the requirements for the uh, Excel program. And we had to hustle because you have to hustle with Excel because it's, uh, you have to get the work done in a fiscal year. You have to understand how that works. So my budget office, my uh, construction team that uh, I worked directly with, everybody worked together so that we can get this in. I got tremendous help from uh, Department of Energy Management. I had tremendous help from Department of Cultural Affairs. They were very helpful for us uh, getting all of these strategies together. And what we were able to do is, because of tenacity, we finished the project from beginning to end. It took seven years, but now we have all that going forward. We have all the benefits of this project. Thank you.